What's up guys, Blazing Wrath here, and holy shit, we just got a surprise Tekken 8 announcement at the State of Play. Now, I didn't watch the State of Play, as a matter of fact, I was at work, so I, I didn't expect anything at the State of Play, so I really didn't give a shit, until my buddy Jake texted me saying, hey, they're showing Tekken 8 in the middle of work, I'm just like, what? I need a link right now. Now, I, uh, I could have gotten this video out sooner, but I was a bit tired after work, and I've watched this trailer probably multiple times. So what I want to do is just do a simple breakdown on gameplay aspect of what's going on here. Because, damn, this trailer does a really good job in mixing between gameplay and, you know, cinematic camera angles. Which, it's, it's, it's just a huge step up from Tekken 7 overall. And before I get into this breakdown, if you like fighting games like Tekken or first-person shooters like Halo and, a, and any survival horror games like Resident Evil, uh, make sure to tap subscribe if you want to stick around as those are the games I kind of cover. So, with that being said, let's get into this. <laughs> Alright, so right there is Jin's 124. Uh, a lot of the moves shown here overall is is all basically like familiar moves. So there's really no new moves shown throughout the trailer. Which I do wonder what other moves or that are new that are gonna be shown when Tekken 8 comes out, but this is Jin's 124. <laughs> And that right there was Kazuya's up three. Now, again, the, the cinematic camera angle is such as this, I wonder if like, like some of this is like, can this be like within the multiplayer? Like, do we have accesses? And I wonder if some of these camera angles are either like campaign exclusive or multiplayer exclusive. Because my God, I hope some of these like are actually in the multiplayer. Now that right there was Kazuya's like flying air kick. I actually don't know the name, but it's a move I do use a lot. And I hope that it better connects in this game because <laughs> the hitbox works weird in Tekken 7 because the my opponent will be on the ground and yet it still like hits up in the air and it like connects. So I hope they can make it connect better in, in the next game. Something else I want to point out about Kazuya's air kick is that he does this off of a running uh, stance. Which is weird because in a couple of previous games, especially Tekken 7, you have to do a crouch dash to, to get access to that air kick. So I wonder if some moves are either getting like moved or are some moves going to get eas easily accessible. But overall, just something I wanted to point out. Now right there is Jin's 2-1-4. Uh, very good string for him, not much to talk about, except for the amount of pushback on block, which is not the case in Tekken 7. That was Kazuya's forward forward 3, another familiar move, and again, much like Jin, a lot of pushback on it this time. Not the case in Tekken 7. This is Jin's back to 1. Now that, I believe, was Kazuya's down forward 3-2-1. Some other notes I want to point out about this sequence is that, one, Kazuya is able to simply backdash Jin's electric wind hook fist. And this is something you can't really do in Tekken 7, as you need to kind of backdash a whole way. And, on top of that, with a nice whiff punish of down forward 3-2-1, the whole string connects, and not only that, you get this extra cinematic piece of fucking just badass shit with Kazuya pumping up his arm for the final hit. Now I wonder if this is actually, like, again, like, if that is that a cinematic campaign sequence, or is that actually part of the gameplay? If I had if I had to make a choice, I hope that can be like a counter hit kind of gameplay, where if you land the three hitting string, it behaves like normally, but if you land in a counter hit state, I hope that's actually what happens where fucking Kazuya just pumps his fist for the last hit. 
Now that right there was Jin's Power Crush move. Um, I hope Power Crushes don't come back in Tekken 7. That's always a cheesy move. Me and Jake are not a fan of it. Or at least I hope it's character specific where not every character maybe needs it. Uh, maybe certain characters can have it, like the tanky characters. It would make sense for the tanks to have it, like grapplers like King, Armor King, or Marduk. Because those, those guys are big. It makes sense for them to have some armored moves. Now a few things to point out in this sequence is one, this definitely looks like part of the campaign. Like for sure this is not gameplay. This is probably one of their fights in the story mode. And two, this this sequence is about to come up. Jin does his crouch dash into one and then Kazuya does his classic down forward two for a counter hit. And then lands his really sick devastating combo which can be recreated in Tekken 7. And not only that, the final kick when that Kazuya lands and then Jin lands on the floor confirms the screw system. So a couple things are about to happen when Jin gets up. One, he runs at Kazuya for his down forward one, once again. Except it doesn't look like he does a down forward motion. And two, Jin enters his devil form for a second. But I wonder if they're going to go the Ryu route and, you know, there won't be devil Jin anymore. And maybe some of his moves will transfer over to Jin. Uh, I kind of hope they don't. I hope Jin still has hack. Like, I hope they combine devil Jin and Jin together in, in like, one character. Kind of like with Kazuya, how he can access the devil form. And after that, he's going to do his rage art. Which, by the way, that rage art looks very similar to something Kazuya has when he's in devil form. And then right after that, seems to be one of Jin's new outshows, which is pretty fucking sick. And that's going to do it for this video. Overall, I am very hyped. I can't wait for this game. I would expect more to come out around the Game Awards, so near the end of the year. And there's plenty more to talk about. Like, of course, both Jin and Kazuya got new gloves, new pants designs. And, you know, I just can't wait. So if you liked the video, leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you want to stick around. All my links are down in the description. And until next time, peace.